Hello, good morning. Welcome to KC Video Devotionals for Couples. Today is the 26th of December. My name is Oni Elizabeth. Our topic for today is, it's time to open up your boxes. This topic is obviously inspired by today being the Boxing Day. You know, when I was a child, I kept wondering why Boxing Day? Why on earth will a day be engaged in boxing, fighting one another? But since we didn't fight in our house, I felt okay, good enough, but still wondered if people would really do boxing. Funny how we think as kids. Well, today's topic is not about boxing, but about opening up boxes. Yes, it's good to open boxes of gifts received during Christmas, but I'm talking of opening another box. Yes, it's good to open up boxes of gifts received during Christmas, but I'm talking of opening another type of box. As couples, we have boxes where we keep our spouses in unforgiving mood for hurt and pain they cause us. Couples also have boxes where they keep secrets. Secret admirers, secret means of taking care of ourselves or should I say sorting ourselves out. Secret sins, secret charts, secret agendas, secret outings, and whatever we do that we cannot afford to let our spouse know about. As this year comes to an end, and we prepare to enter the new year, we should take our time to open all boxes. Give way for open communication, forgive old offenses, and make room for a new season of restoration and marital fulfillment. Forgiveness in marriage is not easy, but one needs to make a quality decision to do what is right for things to work out right. Forgiveness is not what can be done in our own human strength. Human nature is anti-forgiveness. And that's why we need God's help by his Holy Spirit and his word. The journey of marriage is one that can be done. The journey of marriage is not one that can be done by human strength or ability. It takes God's strength, grace, ability, and wisdom. You have to embrace all this help made available for you in your marriage. Boxes where offenses are stored and secrets kept must be opened. Wounds opened up heal faster than those covered up without treatment. Talk about issues. Don't be afraid to open up. Don't be intimidated into silence. The aim of opening up our issues is not to offend our spouse, but to trash out issues and throw away the trash. However, as you attempt to do this, you may need to ask God for wisdom on how to go over this so that more issues are not created. God bless your marriage in Jesus' name. Meditation for the day. Genesis 2 verse 25. KJV translation. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Prayer for the day. Lord, help me to forgive my spouse and be gracious enough not to store up offenses. Prayer two, pray for your spouse. Prayer three, thank God for the year 2020. Confession for the day. I get rid of every secret sin, secret chat, secret agendas. I'm naked and not ashamed with my spouse. I do not keep my spouse in unforgiving mode. I give way for open communication. I forgive old offenses and make room for a new season of restoration and marital fulfillment. My marriage is blessed in Jesus' name. Action plan for the day. Write out these things you are offended about and talk about them, not accusingly, but meekly. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international gifts, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kcsnos.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage. And these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kcsnos.com slash books if you live in the city of Ibada, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center it's at Joker Plaza beside Trans Amusement Park Auditor UI Road in the city of Ibada. on Sundays we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock and by Wednesdays 6 p.m. it will be our pleasure to have you kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com you'll have a lot of resources for your soul.